on a quest for three golds in Tokyo, one in paratriathlon and two in hand cycling, Lauren Parker is well on her way. With COVID halting international competition, the world champion was given numbers to hit in the time trial. And then her next test, two days later, the road race. Yeah, so this week I've done the time trial and the road race and I got an email from Cycling Australia after the time trial race and basically they gave me an update of where I'm sitting at the moment um, in my pursuit to qualify for Tokyo for the cycling and basically I'm sitting around that third to fourth place in the world out of the hand, in the hand cycle category. For me to qualify, I need to get that number one spot. So there's still quite a bit to go, but um, you know, it's I'm improving, so that's the, the main thing. Parker is inching closer to a chance to chase her dream of triple gold, with the next big test coming at the end of March, a training camp on Queensland's Gold Coast, under the watchful eye of Cycling Australia. And that's basically where I've got, to, I've got to perform. That's my last chance of qualifying for Tokyo. And that's where I've got to prove to, to myself and to them that I can be at that number one spot. And, uh, you know, I, I am a gold medal potential for Tokyo. Plenty to take on, but of course, why not fill the time in between by defending two Australian paratriathlon titles? So I've got my first triathlon race in over a year coming up on the 20th of February in my hometown of Newcastle. So I'm so excited to be back on the start line, especially in my hometown and it'll be great just to um, race the other athletes and meet up with everyone again there uh, and just to see where I'm at you know it'd be good a really good hit out putting the swim bike and run together again